The only thing I keep thinking is how cold it's going to be on Saturday. <laughs> For that, uh, you better have a good boat that's going to keep you dry because it Ooh, is going Titanic to be pretty chilly. Moment. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Uh, checking in this morning, pretty quiet morning outside. The breeze starting to pick up from the south, but uh, extremely mild, especially compared to maybe a couple mornings ago where we had some readings back into the upper 30s. Uh, live views, we've got a few high thin clouds rolling in from the west and northwest. Otherwise, it, uh, once again, it is a pretty quiet morning across the region. No rain expected today. There's some of those high thin clouds we're talking about. They'll be around through a good part of the day, but uh, expecting not not to have much of an impact uh, right now. A few spots Mount Vernon dipping down to the upper 40s. Most areas though into the 50s and even the mid to upper 50s in some areas. Uh, Carbondale 56 Anna right now at 54 Vienna you're at 53 Harrisburg at 58 McLeansboro right now at 53 Ridgeway, Illinois at 54 degrees across western Kentucky uh, anywhere from Benton, Kentucky at 55 to Murray at 59 Clinton, Kentucky right now at 56 and across southeast Missouri, especially back in the Ozarks. Uh, Temperatures right now into the 60s. Meanwhile, Cape Toronto is at 56 degrees. Today will likely be the warmest day of the week as uh, temperatures will climb into the lower 80s. The breeze will be fairly strong this afternoon, but we'll keep the warm weather around through tomorrow. But then the cold front arrives tomorrow night. Brings a good chance for widespread showers and thunderstorms. And behind this front by the weekend, we're talking about some very chilly weather and potentially even a chance for some patchy frost by Sunday and Monday. Monday morning, so some big changes on the way uh, this morning. All is quiet across the Midwest, except uh, on the other side of the warm front, tracking some showers and storms way out across parts of Minnesota and Iowa. That is all moving away from us. There's the cold front that will eventually sweep through our area this afternoon. Uh, lower 80s for the most part uh, that breeze out of the south and west could see some gusts near 30 miles per hour today. And that breeze stays with us through a good part of the overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. It means tomorrow morning once again uh, into the lower 60s to start. And then uh, we are dry through a good part of the daylight hours on Thursday. So if you have plans outdoors on Thursday, right now it looks like at least through the mid to late afternoon, you should be good to go. Uh, temperatures into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Notice the timing here about 4 o'clock. There's the cold front and some showers, some thunderstorms developing near that front and then pushing eastward into the evening hours. So starting to arrive into southeast Missouri, southwest Illinois, it's about 8 o'clock and initially Actually, some of these storms could be on the strong side, but then as the sun goes down, instability starts to really uh, go down quite a bit. Uh, the atmosphere stabilizes, which means our chance for any stronger storms goes away pretty quickly, and this sets up into being a heavy rainmaker into early Friday morning. That front stalls out over us. And uh, we could see some showers linger around through the day on Friday. And we may see a break through the midday hours and then more showers returning during the late afternoon. But the Storm Prediction Center keeping most of our area, southern Illinois, western Kentucky, in a level one on a scale of one to five for severe storms Thursday evening, a level two across southeast Missouri. The tornado threat very low. But there is a chance we could see an isolated storm or two with some large hail and some strong winds. Rainfall amounts could be pretty heavy, though. Uh, most areas picking up more than an inch. Some areas of western Kentucky could pick up nearly two inches of rain. There's the big temperature drop as we make our way into the weekend. We're talking the highs from today into the lower 80s to by Saturday. Highs only in the low 50s. A chance for some patchy frost Sunday morning and then again on Monday morning. We'll bounce back in the mid 60s by the middle of next week. All right, well, 81 today, I'll take it. That's a chilly weekend, though. Uh, oh, man, I had to I hold know. back a groan. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, all right.